Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And today what we're doing, we're treating for mites. And I'm gonna show you the most simple, cheapest way to treat for mites. And what we're treating them with is oxalic acid. And in this jar, is grain alcohol, 190 proof grain alcohol, or you can also use ethyl alcohol. I use the 190 Everclear. So, what you want to do, and, and here's what we're going to use to fog it with, is it's an insect fogger. Of course, get a brand new one. You don't want to ever use one that's had pesticides in it. And the brand of this is called Burgess. I have one that's a black flag, but it just didn't work. It just, for some reason, it wouldn't fog that well. And I use this one and it works perfectly. And the tools that you'll need to do this, and we'll show this first, get you a good respirator. I got this one at Lowe's. You can get them at Home Depot. This was like the best one they had. It was like $50, $50, $50. It's it's for paints and gases, which oxalic acid converts into a gas. So get you a good one. And I recommend the glasses. The vapors will choke you. So as long as you have this, you're fine. This method is 100% kill rate. And what we do, we'll treat the bees three weeks straight. And then to maintain afterwards, about every three weeks, no longer than four tops to maintain and as we're getting close to fall the mite counts go get higher and higher you want to eradicate the mites definitely before you go into winter so if you can get them knocked out now and then maintain once a month say the first day of the month go out there and hit them this is uh like i said that fogger is i actually got this fogger right here on uh, walmart.com and i think it was 50 to 60 dollars something like that um it works very well uh, anything that i've seen to treat bees this is the best thing that i've seen right here you can also do the mineral oil but it's not near as of, as effective it's about a 50 percent kill this is a 100 percent kill right here this works excellent the oxalic acid will knock those mites out no problem so, what you want to do, and I'll put the recipe down below, how much oxalic acid, how much grain alcohol, and I bought this little bitty scale on eBay, and what you want to do, whatever container you're putting in, I'm not going to do this complete mix, I'm just going to explain most of it, because I don't, right now you say I don't have gloves, so I'm not going to mess with the acid. But I'm all explaining it's very easy to do. Uh, it's set on milliliters. So you wanna you wanna tear it out. And then what you're shooting for is a hundred milliliters. Okay, I went over just a tab there. That's close enough though. That's you can pour out a little bit okay now I'm under a little bit it's close enough and then once you get your alcohol mix done then what you want to do is uh, set your scale on grams and then what I did I just took like a, a styrofoam cup Set it down. Of course, it weighs nearly nothing, but I go ahead and tear it anyway. And then scoop out 25 grams into your cup. And then once you get that, set that aside. So now you got your, your alcohol here. You got your oxalic acid here. Now here's what I do. If uh, Try to find your heating pad. You can use an old, you can use a coffee pot. And use the 
the heating pad part here. And you just want to heat that alcohol up just a, a little bit beyond warm to, to hot, but where you can still stand to put your finger in it. And uh, that's before you put the acid in it. Of course, you, you, it's good to wear, put you some gloves on when you, when you handle this. And do this outside where it's ventilated good. I, when I mix this up, I actually... When I mix oxalic acid up into the alcohol, there was no, there's no fumes, but just to be safe, you can. You can put your respirator on if you want to and your gloves. Good to have your gloves for sure because you've got your acid. And then go ahead, you know, heat your, heat your alcohol up just a little bit. Do this outside. I'm just dim, demonstrating inside because I had everything laid out right here, but I'm not going to actually mix it. And what I did, I just, I just set the alcohol on the your heat pad let it get a little bit warm and then dump in your oxalic acid dump it in get you a metal spoon stir it up and stir it until it's clear let it set then what i did i set it back on the, the heater for just a little bit let it heat back up just a little bit and then it's recommended that you run it through a filter now it's pretty simple just just get you an old coffee filter and one that you don't use and and run it through and catch it catch it into another jar it's that simple and because it sometimes will have little bitty particles that may get clogged up in your uh into your fiber and you don't want that so then what you do it's simply you just uh i'm, I'm gonna use this jar right here i say if i say if this was full i'm just using an example here and let me put this on pause and then I'll resume because I can't do this one handed and I'll show you here in a second. Hold on. Now it does, it does come with a little con a container, but it, it's pretty big. And these uh, pint jar, this is actually like a half pint jar. It's like a fruit, fruit jar. And I got plenty of them because I used to can a lot. Plus I got jars for honey. Of course you won't use this after you put this in there. But it fills it up pretty good. It's small and it's easy to suck it up from the bottom with the your little pump there as you pump it. Because actually what you want to do, you want to heat this up. Now the only disadvantage I see about the Burgess, and, and maybe it's just this Burgess, this type of Burgess, is uh, my black flag. Once you turn your gas on, it had an electric start. You can click it just like you would on a gas grill. It would light. This you got to light manually. No big deal. So what we'll do, our mixture is ready to go. We're hooked up and I'll resume after I start it up. Okay, I'm back outside. Now I sound like Darth Vader with this, with this uh, respirator on. Hopefully you can hear me. So what I do, I turn on my gas. I light it, and then we'll give it two minutes to heat up. So we'll let it heat up, and we'll be, I'll meet you in the bee yard. Okay, we're down to the bee yard. Hopefully you can hear me through this respirator. It's heated up, we're ready to go. What you want to do is put two or three squirts in each hive. Let's test it and see how it does here. And there it goes. So what you want to do, hold it in the entrance. Two squirts. You see it coming out of the top.
You might go with three. I went with three on that one. Some of these day entrances on the other side. Some of these are actually empty. And that's about it. That's how fast. I'm gonna take off my respirator so I can talk a little bit better and get away from it. That's how fast that is. It, the bees get riled up a little bit, but I didn't get stung the first time, so. I got sitting over there safe. I took my respirator off. And it's that quick. Uh, get you one of these. If you want to treat for mites, you, well, you, you need to treat for mites. Get you one of these. This is the cheapest route and the most effective, I can assure you. These things work excellent. You can't beat it. Uh, they're easy. It, uh, I treated, I didn't count. One, two, three. I treated 15 right there. I believe it's 15. And you can see that jar it used used about a about an inch of it, a half an inch maybe. So you can treat a lot of hives with this. Uh, it, it it's better than any, any treatment that I've seen. The the most the safest for the bees, safe for you if you wear that respirator. Um, you can't beat it. Get you one of these at walmart.com or you can check at Lowe's or Home Depot. I usually see the, the black flag there. So uh, you can, uh, I think if you order over $40 at walmart.com, you get free shipping. They'll ship it right to your door or you can go pick it up at the store. Doxalic acid, uh, forgot to tell you, you can get that on eBay. That uh, that brand right there, uh, uh, Florida, I even forget what, what it was. Uh, it works very good. You can find that on eBay. Um, there's been other of my friends that's done these videos on the same thing. Uh, uh, you can check out their channel, uh, Joe May, the Skinny Bee Man, and Tara Booth at Just Because. Uh, they've both done videos and uh, on these as well. 
so you may watch my video then go over and watch their video and some things that I'm I missed and uh, Taro goes into Taro and Joe goes into better detail with mixing that they actually do the mixing so check out their channel and please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel thanks for watching Barnyard Bees